So there is something that just happened on the ADA charts, and maybe this is invalidated by the time that this video comes out due to the CPI report. We don't know what data we're getting yet, but this has historically led to nice movements in terms of ADA. In fact, trend reversals have been made off of this exact thing flashing before. Now, what this is, is my indicator, guys. If you haven't checked this out, the link is in the description below. There is a 30 day money back guarantee. This identifies some great opportunities to add positions to your bag. I don't use this just for eight. I use this for all my assets when I'm looking to add. And something that doesn't flash very often here is this DCA plus on the daily charts when it comes to ADA. You guys can see back here, it flashed it before this nice move to the upside, flashed it back here before this nice move to the upside. You guys can see even all the way back here, flash, nice move, flash, nice move. The only thing this doesn't work with is black swan events, guys. This is all the way back to June of 2023. If you remember back here, ADA alleged as a security by the SEC, we got our drop, institutional sell-off, got our drop. That's the, that's the only times it doesn't really work, right? So what we're seeing right now is this DCA flash that may show a nice significant move to the upside for ADA. Now, I'm not saying it's going to explode 100% from here or anything like that, but this is coinciding with some other things happening in the market as well. We know that the CPI reports come today, possible, possible momentum shift to the upside. We'll wait and see. It looks like a lot of things are being positioned for some possible movements to the upside, a bunch of liquidity being removed in terms of BTC. And right now, we have actually seen volume double in terms of ADA over the last few days. We went from about $150 million a day in volume to over $300 million, currently sitting at about like $270, I believe. But right now, the volume is heightened. Volatility is, is entering the arena. And today is probably going to be one of those moves where we definitely see some reactions to the CPI report. It's kind of a question of, of what are we going to get, right? And by the time this comes out, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Now, the PPI report that came out, that was hot, all right? Wholesale numbers, hot, which likely means that consumer numbers are going to be hot. It's all really just a matter of how much people are spending. Are they spending to the point where the demand is staying high and keeping that inflation high? That's that's the big point. And we'll obviously know by the time this video comes out what, what the result of this was. But do not sleep on some of these really cheap opportunities to add assets because this is the the boring, not great time in terms of price before things really do take off. Maybe we go lower from here. We'll see ADA has been holding this structure very, very well. I've said that, you know, basically by Friday, we need a confirmation of direction here. Maybe that's one of these where ADA does one last test down here before a bounce, or it's possible ADA just decides, hey, let's just emerge from here, right? I'm not really seeing the bearishness. I'm not seeing, you know, a drop into the 30s. We'll We'll obviously see what happens. We have major support around 38 cents. That, that'd be where a big, big level would be for us. But we all just have to be patient and let things play out how they're going to play out. Unfortunately, we don't really have control of uh, the charts or the market. It's all about the sentiment. And if the sentiment flips positive, then times might get a little exciting again. So I appreciate you guys as always. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below. But have a great day. Catch you guys in the next one. Take care.